Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're doing a full face of Fenty. I also wanted to focus on a look that you guys can wear as a wedding guest because I know it's wedding season. I'll get into like the details of how you can change the eye look a bit depending on what you're wearing. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Tulasi. Thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing. Um, and if you guys wanna get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so okay that's enough rambling guys let's jump straight into the tutorial okay so i'm bare face dim down the light a bit it's mostly daylight in front of me but i do have a light i'm first going to be using my fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer you guys know i absolutely love this primer there's a hydrating one and then just a normal one but you know both are just as good i'm going to use some tape today i just want the eyes to look really nice I've got this Fenty Beauty Invisipink Pro Filter Eye Primer and I'm just going to put this all over. This doesn't necessarily give coverage like with a concealer, but I'm fine with today's look. No normally I prefer like, you know, coverage for my eye bases. I'm just going to burn that out. It doesn't really give any coverage to be honest, but it has this tacky feel. So like with like metallics and stuff, it's so good. I'm gonna be using the Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one's in the Deep Neutral. And I'm first gonna go in with this shade, the brown. Because really all I want is this liner, most of all. Guys, can you believe that I've worked with Fenty on um, an Instagram reels? I'm just so like, I just feel so blessed because like, I don't know if you recall like a vlog back in the day. To be honest, I put it on private because my card was in there. I just took it down to be honest. I queued an hour to be, to go get the Fenty release. Like when it first released and there was so much hype, it was only in Har Harvey Nichols. This is why I can't use daylight. Look at that. Now I'm going to take the orange in here and I'm just going to basically put that right on top of the brown so we can create like a transition. Not completely on top of it, but just like I would say like a third of it. I've closed the curtains because I really can't deal with this sun. It just comes out whenever it wants to, but look how pretty that orange is on top of that brown. I'm just not being too neat with it. I really want a nice blend between the two. It's just crazy how things work and like how it just really comes full circle. Like I went from queuing up to buy their makeup with my own money, queuing up for now in the rain, I remember it was pouring that day, to now like working with them, like what on earth? And you know, honestly guys, this is all thanks to you because I just want to thank you guys just for taking the time to watch my videos and supporting me and that is what really helps me get these opportunities. So honestly, your love and support doesn't go unnoticed. I just wanted to say thank you and it means a lot to me that you just take time out of your day to watch my videos and support me. So yeah, I'll put the video here if you guys wanna check it out and leave a little like and a comment so you can help your girl out. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's just like one of those moments where you're just like, wow, like, wow. I feel like with this thing, with this look, you can really pair it with any like Indian outfit, like sari or lengo or anything, because like, let's say you have a brown, you can pet, you can, instead of an orange, let's say you're wearing a mint suit, you can put like a little bit of a green, or if you're wearing like a blue suit, you can put a bit of like, a light blue. You can really like mix and match. You, do you know what I mean? You don't have to put orange. In the center, I'm gonna take this metallic shade right here. And I'm just gonna put it on this section here. I'm not touching the aligner much, to be honest. I'm just going above it. I miss using tape. I mean, there's a lot of tugging going on, but I don't care. Look at that blend, wow. Look at that blend. So now I'm really gonna curl my lashes. Because this is a full face Fenty, I'm not gonna put lashes, but obviously you can do if you wanna like dress up the eye, but I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascaras, one of my favorite mascaras. And let's talk about Love Island. <sighs> because I'm like so far into it, to it, I was looking, I, 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 I miss out a few episodes now, I'm not really into it like before. And I watched like, I think Friday's episode, 
and I think Jake is so weird. Jake is so weird. He seems controlling. Like, why was he holding Liberty in a corner like that? That was so awkward. Like, he's so weird. And I thought, I feel like Liberty needs to know. I need to watch today's episode because I need to see how the girls tell her the truth. But on the other hand, I'm kind of annoyed because I just feel like Love Island aren't doing enough. Like they've put a new girl into the villa. Her name's Priya. I just feel like when they search for Asian girls, they search like, you know, the, the popular Indian names, like surnames and first name or like Priya, Pooja or so names like that. Do you know what I mean? And then with Shannon, her surname was Singh. Like Singh. Singh is like one of the most common, like popular Indian surnames. So I feel like they just go search like the typical names and it's just like boring as hell and so stupid and i'm sick and tired of saying oh like what indian girl what asian girl is going to be on there like with our culture and family not every indian asian girl is like strict there are like some open like really open-minded easygoing um indian girls out there okay brown girls brown guys who are up to like playing the games and don't have to follow like the strict rules in you know that you will find in our households do you know what i mean it's like i just feel like the teams are not putting enough effort in not all brown people are called puja or priya but yeah they've put a girl called priya on the show and she's just been getting racist remarks left right and center the only thing that the public wants to like pinpoint on her on her and focus on her is the fact that she finds boris johnson attractive and like who cares i'm going to use my pro filter foundation in shade 310 some of you guys wanted to know what makeup i wore in that instagram video that i did with fenty so i'm going to kind of imitate the base um the eye is actually quite similar i didn't do the liner but i use the same palette and it's just really gorgeous like the colors are insanely pigmented and they blend so well i'm going to use the fenty setting spray just to like add a bit of moisture now people are taking um, that as an excuse to say that she's like full conservative like it's just so ridiculous like why don't people do that with the other people like why is it when a brown girl goes in there she just takes so much like harsh like people are so harsh on them like i don't know what it is and Shannon didn't even have like two days to be in the villa. She was out within seconds. So I just, I'm just fed up of the show. Like, I don't think I'm going to pay any more attention to it anymore. Like, they, they need to like be better. And I always feel like the black girl is always the last one to get chosen or is, the, or, is always the one that struggles because they don't put men in there that actually love like black women. When to be honest, there's loads out there, but they're just not putting them in the same like villa. They're not putting the right people in. So I'm just over it. They need to rehire their team like scrap the old ones bring in the new a diverse team that can actually put the work in and get a good you know good casting i'm gonna use the fenty 115 foundation brush this works so nice with the foundation and you just have to like stipple it in So I know people say it's trash TV, but to be honest, it's genuinely trash TV. And when I'm watching it, I literally feel like I'm losing brain cells. Like, Cause even my husband, he's like, oh, this is so stupid. I don't know how you can watch this stuff. And then whilst it's on the TV, he's like following up with it. Like he's looking at what's happening. I was like, see, it's addictive. Like you want to know what happens. I'm going to use my Pro Filter Concealer in 310 as well. I used to use 330, but 310 definitely matches me better. Oh my god, this concealer is so good. Like, uh, 330 was good when I was like tan, but now that I'm, I've been home a lot, I'm not tan. I've not tanned that much. 310 matches me better, and also 330 was a lot more on the orange side for me. Sharpen that liner. Oh, look at that, it's gorge. I was watching. You guys know I'm obsessed with Is Judy's life. I've been watching El Darby's vlogs. You know, like Desi Perkins. I just feel like everyone has had a baby and i'm getting major baby fever guys okay so next i'm going to use a pro filter uh instant retouch setting powder in banana now i've never really been a fan of this powder um but the trick with it is to use just the smallest amount because i used this in my video and it looked so stunning and it actually wore really beautifully out throughout the day so it's just like 
you just have to use a little bit i don't bake with it i don't like baking i just feel like it's definitely more on the drying side when it comes to powder but yeah i wouldn't say it's my favorite like it's not in my top five powders i would say but i know it's a, like a lot of people's favorite i think my under eyes are too dry when i wear it okay then i'm going to use my favorite bronzer ever this is the they actually stocked me up with another caramel cutie bronzer because this is this from this was from back when I was working <laughs> and I use it every day so they stocked me up with another one I think I'm gonna bin this one because it's really old and dirty and it says you can only use this for 12 months and this has been way over a year so this is gonna go away in a bin but it was well loved so yeah I'm gonna use the sun stalker bronzer in the shade caramel cutie I do like island ting too I don't know where it is but the thing is is that this one's more neutral and it just looks so nice on my skin I've been loving using a tapping motion for my bronzer bring it into the hairline what else has been going on I don't even know I've just been focusing on work and filming as always a lot I know it's wedding season so this is why I wanted to do this kind of look for like as a wedding guest i'm gonna do way more like different looks and obviously we gotta put some mascara i mean every time i do a fancy face my makeup looks flawless i'm gonna use the cheeks out cream blush in the shade daikiri dip it's so nice i've been obsessed with it as always i like to take a stippling brush and just dab it into the cheeks really high up on those cheeks is this diamond bomb in cognac candy just put a bit of that on the cheeks this is one of my favorite makeup setting sprays i actually broke my first one because i used it every day um so they restocked me with another one i'm going to use the gloss bomb cream in honey waffles i've been dying to try this shade Alright, that's the finished look guys. I mean my setting spray still needs to finish. So yeah, that's the finished look. I really feel like you can wear this with anything you want guys. You can just change the shimmer, the orange shade like I said. You can change up the lip, but the base is flawless. It photographs beautifully. And yeah, I really hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what colours you want me to try out in the comments below. And yeah, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give this video a like because it really helps your girl out. And I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.